Oh, there's some good fish right there. And they'll actually bend down when we get hit. What we got? He's a fish. How's that for quick release? An osprey? Yeah. There's several of those that hang out around here. He's a little feller. Yeah, he's very little. How far out do you go? Uh, that all varies. Um, this, is, this is pretty shallow when I'm letting them out right now, but it's what worked last night. Just different all the time, so you're always you're always experimenting. Uh oh, we got us a hog. My goodness, the littlest one ever. Now we're just trolling, which is, you know, take you whatever kind of spoon or whatever kind of jig you like, tie it on your tie it on something, we'll get it down there, and catch some hybrids. It's fun. Still on there? Yeah. He's a baby. Yeah, just little bitty stuff. Uh, One night last year, we were, we fished here by this pile, and we had made it. We made a bunch of runs. We didn't catch anything, and I had one pole that had a red spoon on it. <laughs> so I put. I said, "All right, we'll drop the red spoon." I dropped that spoon in. We never caught a fish on any other color but that red. We must have caught 52. Okay. It's just crazy. You just wish everything was a little more predictable. That's fishing. We'll go down to this other spot and we'll get you some. We really went over some fish. A little better. It's a little better. Pretty when they get their fins all standing up. How long I'm gonna stick them through your fingernail? We're out here fishing today, and a lot of people looking at me, saying, "Where's his life jacket?" Well. Let me tell you what, I wear long sleeve shirts all the time. It gets really hot, but guess what? I've got a Mustang survival kit right here. I pull that yellow cord, thing pops out, I put it around my neck, I'm good to go. So guess what? I'm wearing a life jacket, and it's right here if I need it. It's about like that one you caught. They're not bad, they're, they're getting up there. Oh, yeah. Now I'd eat that fish if we were keeping them. I don't know if that's going to come off there that easy. Gee. <laughs> What's the biggest one you've caught out here? I've caught one right at nine pounds. And did you turn him loose? No, I didn't turn him <laughs> loose. But well, I turned all the ones last night loose, but I caught bigger ones last night that I wish we had tonight. Well, we're not done yet, right? No, we absolutely. Did. Yeah, there's fish on here. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a mess of fish, mm -hmm. you get one pretty quick. But you know, you said it was a poor day. I'm thinking more medium to a little bit above medium, but I'm easy to please. I would call it a poor day. But you know what, we're catching some good 14, 15 inch fish, which to me is a nice fish. Well, normally you can catch your limit out here, which would be 15 fish, which is 10 under 15 and five over. Right. And we didn't catch the five over. That's what hurt us. We well, got the 10 under. It didn't hurt that bad because we solved 68.7% of the world's problems. Well, that's true. And it was a wonderful day doing it. So, hey, I would call that a success, and I want to thank you. I know there's a million different things you could be doing. you got your own business, but you're out here fishing with us. Thank you again. I loved it. Let's do it again sometime. Absolutely. You fish down barren, too, don't you? I do. <clears throat> and rough. I'm not inviting myself or anything, but I'm just saying. You know, we can do it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> thank you much, buddy.
Take care. I'm just going to take it real easy and keep us pressure on That's a good fish. That's better fish. Oh, just think what those fillets look like right there. Yeah. After the red meat's cut out. He's 15 inches. We probably caught two or maybe three of those that are 15 inches. Pretty fish. Yeah. I can't believe you're putting him back. I don't want to watch. Go ahead. 